All right, so in our second session, uh, second section of notes in Chapter 7, we're going to talk about the exterior angles of polygons. If you have not done so, I really would like you to try to figure out the three questions to 7.1a. Do now. Uh, the first one being, what is the formula for the sum of the interior angles? If you can't quite remember that one, look back to your notes, and if those notes aren't completed, by all means, please go find the first video and try to find them. I'm not just going to give it to you. I want you to try these problems on your own. If you're already done with the 7.1a do now, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with today's notes. The exterior angles of a polygon. More importantly, the sum of the exterior angles measures. Exterior angles are supplementary to their adjacent interior angle. We're going to find the measure of each exterior angle on the polygons uh, below and then give the sum of the exterior angle measures. And here's what this looks like. So supplementary being the key word here means adds up uh, or add up to 180 degrees. And I don't want you to forget that. If you've already forgotten that, then write it down. Seriously, that is an important definition, an important property that we need to remember. Looking at all of these, basically all we're going to be doing is subtracting from 180. We're just going to be doing a lot of 180 minus this, 180 minus that. So for instance, in the triangle, I have 61 degrees. I'm going to do 180 minus 61. And that's going to give me 119. I'm going to do the same thing with 79. 180 minus 79, that will give me 101. And again, 180 degrees minus the next one, which is 40, that's 140 degrees. And all that I'm going to do uh, from here is I'm going to take these three and I'm going to add them together. So I'm going to do 119 plus 101 plus 140, and you can just as easily do that in a calculator. What I find when I do that, when I do that in a calculator... I get 360 degrees. All right, so the sum of these angles adds up to 360. Let's see what we get when we do a quadrilateral. The process. If that was too fast for you, again, let me go through the process with you uh, one more time. What we're doing is we are taking each of these angles, 71, 124, 76, and 89, and we are subtracting them from 180 to find these exterior angles. Again, today we're looking at the sum of the exterior angles, the angles on the outside. So if I do 180 minus the 71, I'm going to get 109. And 109 degrees is the measure of that exterior angle. If I do the same thing with the 124, 180 minus 124, that gives me 56 degrees here. I'm also going to do 180 minus 76, which gives me 104. And 180 minus 89. That'll give me 91. So I subtract each of the angles from 180 to find the exterior angles. And then I go ahead and add all these angles together. 109 plus 56, plus 104, plus 91. That gives me a total of 360. Now in math, I like to say that 1 is an anomaly, 2 is a coincidence, 3 is a pattern. So right now we have a coincidence. Let's find the pattern. I'm going to do the exact same thing, so I'm going to do it quicker this time, subtracting each of these numbers from 180. 180 minus 104 that's 76. 180 minus 98 is 82. 180 minus 121 is 59. 180 minus 87 is 93. And 180 minus 130 is 50. And then all we do from there is add those up in our calculator. 76 plus 82 plus 59, plus 93, plus 50. 
gets me 360 degrees. So at this point in time, I mean, we could, uh, if you want to try number, if you want to try the hexagon out for yourself, you are welcome to do that. It should add up to 360 degrees. And so what this all comes down to is what can you conclude about the sum of the exterior angles uh, measures of a polygon? The exterior angles add up to 360. That is what our pattern suggests, and that's what we're going to follow. The exterior angles add to 360 degrees. And of course, we're going to use that fact to solve for measures that we don't know, as well as solve for x. If you need to pause this video for a moment to write all this down, go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and move us to the next page. So like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to apply it. Uh, don't forget the definition of a regular polygon. We talked about this in the previous set of notes, whether you were with us or not, whether you watched the video. Um, a regular polygon is a polygon in which all of the sides are congruent and all of the angles are congruent. And what we're trying to do this time is we're trying to find what is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular hexagon. Now remember, when I say what is the measure of each exterior angle, I mean what is the measure of one exterior angle. So we're trying to find what one exterior angle is worth. Now to do this, we have a formula, a simple, easy to do formula, and I'm just gonna give it to you. If we're trying to find the measure of an angle, M for measure, we need to take the sum of the angles and divide it by the number of sides, because each side is equal, right? This is a regular hexagon we're talking about. Regular meaning everything is equal. So there's two things to remember here. The measure is equal to the sum divided by the number of sides. Well, what sum? We are talking about exterior angles. We just talked about this. What is the sum of the exterior angles? That sum is 360 degrees. And then the question is, how many sides? What is the number of sides? The number of sides here is based on a hexagon, and a hexagon has six. So we take 360 degrees and divide it by six to find that the measure of one exterior angle is 60 degrees. That is the measure of one angle. So let's do the same thing for the next one. What is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular 24 gun? Well, the measure of an angle is equal to the sum divided by the number of sides. Well, what's our sum? We're talking about exterior angles, and the exterior angle sum, just like we said, is 360 degrees. How many sides are there in a 24 gun? Well, n is equal to 24, so I'm going to divide by 24. And when we go to do this, hang on, i got to get this out. We're just going to take that 360, divide by 24, and we find that the number of sides, or I should say the degrees, is 15. Each exterior angle of a regular 24 gun is 15 degrees. Now, what if we're working backwards? In number, in number 9, notice that it says, if the exterior angle of a regular polygon measures 12 degrees, how many sides does the polygon have? Now we're working backwards. We know what the measure of the angle is. We don't know how many sides it has. And believe it or not, we can just take this original formula and change it up. If we're trying to find the number of sides... The number of sides is equal to the sum divided by the measure of each angle. It's that simple. All we have to do is flip the M and the N. So we're trying to find the number of sides, the sum. Once again, we are talking about exterior angles. Exterior angles add up to how much? 360 degrees. Now, we can divide by the measure of each angle, and they told us that the exterior angle of a regular polygon measures 12 degrees. So my M, or measure, is 12 degrees. 
and all I have to do now is divide 360 by 12. I find that my polygon has 30 sides. And really, we don't have to put 30 sides. I mean, if I asked you the question in class, you would probably be able to say, yeah, there's 30, there's 30 sides, Mr. Fager. No brainer. Let's do the same thing for number 10. The exterior angle of a regular polygon measures 40 degrees. How many sides does that polygon have? So once again, we're trying to find n. We want to know how many sides. Well, the number of sides is equal to the sum divided by the measure of each angle. And since we're talking about exterior angles, you know our sum is 360 degrees. The measure of each angle is, as they told us, 40 degrees. They said one exterior angle of a polygon measures 40 degrees. And so all we have to do now is 360 divided by 40. That comes out to be 9. There are 9 sides to this polygon, and we call that a nonogon. But let's really apply the exterior angle theorem. Let's apply the exterior angle sum to find x. We found the measure of one angle. We found the number of sides. Let's figure out what x is. This is a true algebraic application. So looking at number 11, use the exterior angle sum theorem to solve for x. And once again, thinking about the exterior angle sum. What is the exterior angle sum? 360 degrees. So definitely keep that in mind. In order to do this, we need to create an equation. Anytime we're trying to solve for x, it would probably be best to set up an equation. In real life, this is like putting all of your pieces together to figure out what you don't know from what you do know. And here's what I know. Each of these angles has some sort of an expression. I have 7x plus 4, I have 5x plus 4, 4x plus 9, 9x minus 6, and 4x plus 1. Now these are all of the angles on the outside. Well, additionally, we know that all of the angles on the outside should add up to 360 degrees. So another way of showing this is like this. All of these angles added together should equal 360 degrees. Now I can already tell you what's going to happen here. If I actually write out an equation with all of these, I am going to have one massive equation with five separate x values and five separate constants, five numbers. And I don't want to do that because that's going to get messy. That's going to be massive. So here's what I'm going to say. Uh, first of all, combine like terms. I hope, I hope, I hope that you remember that we can combine like terms and that you know what this means. Combining like terms means I'm going to take all the x's and put them together. So for instance, 7x. I can combine that with 5x, 4x, 9x, and 4x as well. So down here in the bottom left, I'm going to say, hey, 7x plus 5x plus 4x plus 9x plus 4x equals, and I'm going to add all those together. Again, these are like terms because they all have x's. When I add all of these together, I'm finding that I have 29x. Cool. Well, I can do the same thing with all the numbers, like positive 4. What can I add to 4? Well, I've got another 4 up here, so plus 4. I've got a positive 9 right there, a negative 6, and a positive 1. So I can add all of these together to see what I'll get here. 4 plus 4 plus 9 minus 6 plus 1, 12. So when I combine my like terms, I'm going to have 29x plus 12. Now that's all of my angles added together, but of course they have to be equal to something. And since these are all the angles on the outside of my shape, they must add up to the exterior angle sum, which in this case is 360. Well, now, now that I have my equation, I can actually solve for x. So let's do this. First, I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. 
and I'm going to get 29x equals 348, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 29. Simple enough. What is 348 divided by 29? It's 12. So we find that x is equal to 12. The process for then this once again, um, first of all, recall that the exterior angle sum is 360. We add all of the angles up. That should equal 360. There's my equation, and I solve. So let's do this. Let's do this process again. If you need a moment to write that down, pause the video. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this with number 12 to uh, solidify the process and really get this down. Uh, I'm going to change my color as well. We're going to use the exterior angle sum theorem to solve for x, and then we're going to find the measure of angle A. That's our end process. So now we're not just solving for x. We're trying to find what the exterior angle measure is going to be for this. We want to know what the exterior angle A is going to be. Um, using the exterior angle sum, don't forget, uh, what, what is the exterior angle sum? Well, the exterior angle sum is 360 degrees. As we've already found out, all of our exterior angles should add up to that 360. Now, once we do that, we can actually set up an equation. Remember, all of my exterior angles should add up to that 360 degrees. So I need to add all of my angles together. I need to add, you know, this exterior angle A, exterior angle B, and exterior angle C. And just like what we did last time, we can actually combine our like terms first. So I can do, start with the 9x. What can I combine with the 9x? Well, I can also combine 5x, and I can combine 10x, because all of these have an x. 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 plus 10, that's 24x. And I can also do the same with the regular numbers, the constants. I've got a 1, I can add 12, and then I can add a negative 37. 1 plus 12 is 13. 13 minus 37, that's a negative 24. So, these are my like terms. These are, this is the expression I get after I combine my like terms. 24, oh, excuse me, let me fix that, 24x minus 24. These are what I get after I combine all the like terms. And this is the sum of the exterior angles. But we also know that the sum of the exterior angles should be 360 degrees. So all of my angles added together should be equal to that 360 degrees. And now I can just solve for x. Add 24 to both sides. That gets me 24x equals 384. And then divide by 24. Let's see, 384 divided by 24. That should be 16. So x is equal to 16. But don't forget that we're not just trying to find x. We also want to know what the measure of angle A is. Well, let's see. The measure of angle A is equal to 9x plus 1. But we now know that x is 16. So I'm going to plug 16 in for x. Um, 9 times 16 is 144. And we're adding 1 to it. So the measure of angle A is 145 degrees. I hope that that uh, made enough sense to you. And really an easy uh, theorem, an easy sum to use overall. Every exterior angle, when added together, should come together to equal 360 degrees. So we just add everything together, set it equal to 360, and solve from there. If need be, we can plug in. So if you have any questions, like always, please, please, please make sure that you're reaching out to me if you have me in class or your local geometry teacher. Otherwise, we're always hoping that you have a great day and easy math. We'll see you later.